We've got our panel here. Yes, And we're going to get into the best and the worst. Yeah. Of the fashion from the red carpet. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So let's uh, let's introduce our panel today. Uh, we have with us Carrie Henderson. She is a personal wardrobe stylist and founder of the Diva State of Mind blog. Hello, Carrie. Hi. We've also got Henry Edwards, creator and founder of Two Magazine. Hi, Henry. Hello. And uh, Betsy Garcet is the founder and CEO of the DC-based women's wear line, Zofia. Hello, Hello to all. Good to see all of you. Good to see you, too. Well, you this is like fun. That. Let's start with the very worst. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see the bad stuff first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Carrie, what do you think? Did you have a worst? I did have a worst. Um, this picture was actually going around on social media last night, and we were trying to ID who the person was it's an artist named Joy Villa she wore a orange reconstructed piece I guess it was made out of recycled material um, and it's a K it looks like a cage dress but it left very little to the imagination um, I think her top was covered and you could see her underwear underneath and it was bright orange so it wasn't to me it was just tacky I didn't really like this dress um, <laughs> I don't know if they'll be able to show the picture, but it was that was definitely my worst worst. Yeah, you, you need to see the picture. Yeah. Yeah. Plastic doesn't usually go over well. It doesn't with the really dress, does translate it? well on the red carpet. No, not yeah. at all. And the holes were just so big. okay. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> the holes are just so big in the dress <laughs> that you're right. It yeah. leaves very little. Very little. Very little to <laughs> I mean, you know. I, I, I guess it would have been better if the underwear weren't showing there. I, yeah. that, I had problems with that. You know, she, she neutralized her breast, which mm. was a good thing. Why not neutralize your bottom, too? What right. do you think, Betsy? Yeah. I think, um, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I think she was really trying. And yeah. I think it showed that she was trying too much. So oh. I feel like when you try too much, you just... It's a, it's a fail, always. And sometimes <laughs> people just dress like that because they want people to talk about them the next yeah, day. And like here we are talking, talking about yes. her. Yes. That was for shock value, wasn't it? Yes. I will put her in line with Madonna. Okay. She wanted to get, get everybody's attention. attention, to get yes. her name on the map, and now here we are. Uh -huh. exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Madonna does that every year, though. <laughs> yes, she does. Yes, she does. And so does Miley. Miley tends to dress up uh, provocatively so people will talk about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I would also say um, Kim Kardashian, which mm -hmm. was my worst mm -hmm. dress it was person. Just, but it was, well, describe what that was. was it, it was a coat, a jacket. It was a big honor. I honor. put it as um, Joan Collins from Dynasty, 1980. Meet <laughs> oh. Hugh Hefner, smoking <laughs> jacket. <laughs> you are right about okay. that. I love that. With a little, uh, with a little flair of... Um, Ric Flair, natural boy from wrestling. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, and it was cut down to there, and then it, it was the the bottom was cut up to here. So it was just the belt that was together, actually. I think with her, she really hasn't tapped into her own style. I think she's really um, consumed with labels. Mm. And she's not really tapping into her own style and really searching what really works for her body. Now, Take that dress that she wore last night that would have looked really nice on someone who was androgynous. Mm, okay. I would say such as Grace Jones. But she oh. has beautiful curves and she didn't really showcase them in that dress. No, and I definitely would have recommended um, a designer such as Tom Ford or Bauman. Mm -hmm. Because they're more fitted kind of. Yes. You know, the thing about yes. the way that fit her, it made her look wider than she really is. Uh, yes. Because, I don't know, it didn't fit well up in the, the rib cage area and the waist area. And even the sleeve length was awful, yeah. and it was too long. Yeah. And then when she um, came up on the podium, she was pulling. So you gotta be comfortable. You, you gotta with be, it. Yes. If you're gonna rock that. You gotta yeah. be. Yes. Uh, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> yes. walk with your head held high yeah, and not you be All right, Betsy. Who was your worst? Uh, what was your worst look last night? That was my worst actually. <laughs> was but, it? Um, but I think it was also just the fact that it, she wasn't tall enough for this. It was just kind of taking over her chest and it was just heavy and I felt like she was just carrying a lot mm -hmm. uh, and I mean she already has all these curves and I think that when you do have curves you need to kind of just work on something that's chic and just kind of edgy, slightly edgy, but this was just too much. This was a you know, runway look. Uh, Henry was talking work. about it looking like the 80s and I think what you're looking at maybe is the shoulder it's pad. The shoulder pad. Oh, it looks yeah. like yeah. big shoulders, yeah. yeah. didn't it? Yeah. That's a very good too point. Heavy. Right. Too much. Yeah. Can we talk about Madonna? All right, well, I mean, you mentioned Madonna, Henry, and that was my worst look. Okay, we're, she had several looks because she was on stage. I'm talking about the red carpet, the red look. carpet She arrived, and she had on this, how do you describe it, dominatrix sort of style <laughs> outfit? It's sort of lacy, it's sort of bustier. What is it? What's going on with the hat? I, I just thought it was horrible. Mm -hmm. so you know, this 
just Madonna. That's, um, that's, I mean, that's Are a part of her. Are you making her? No, no, it's just her. Yes, yeah, that's a part of her brand. I, we give her permission. Like, I yeah. saw it on the red carpet, and I was like, mm, that would be worth just, but then you have to realize she's wearing the outfit, okay. and you're like, that, that's changed without her. Yeah. Like, no one else can that off. for her. Yeah, yeah. no one else can pull that okay. off. I, I see I see a sort of matador inspired uh, hat here. Mm. Yeah. So maybe she was going for that look with the I don't know. You think? Yeah. Okay. That helps explain it. Uh, Rihanna oh, just Rihanna. one big failure here. What is she yeah, that, that was, was like your worst, right? I, I think so. Yeah. I, I but I, oh, I, I just I, I'm shocked because you talk about <laughs> that get up being Madonna. This is so not Rihanna. It's nothing you would ever expect her to put on. I know. It, it was like a tuck. Let's let up in this one time candy. Hot candy. Hot candy. Hot candy. Hot candy. Hot candy. Hot candy. You talk about making your gorgeous figure invisible. She accomplished that with that dress. Yeah. And is she wearing the dress or is the dress wearing her? I think it's wearing her. her. You are in that thing. Yeah. All those layers of fabric. Ah. All right, we've got so much more to discuss. So sit right where you are. When we come back, we're going to talk about the best of the night. So oh, good. Maybe not as fun as the worst, but we're going to talk about that, so be sure to stay tuned. We'll be right back. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, too. We live tweet during the show, and we post some great behind-the-scenes photos. Not as good as those, yeah. but, no, no, no. but all of us. We'll be right back. Well, we have shown you what we thought were the worst looks of Grammy nights. And there were many of them. But now we're going to focus on what we think are the best looks that hit the Grammys red carpet. And we are here with our fashion panel, personal wardrobe stylist and founder of A Diva State of Mind, Carrie Henderson. We're also joined by Henry Edwards sitting next to her. And he's the creator and founder of Two Magazine. And over on my left is Betsy Garcet. She is the founder and CEO of Women's Wear Line. All right, well, there were some beautiful looks last night. So let's start with who you thought uh, were, well, who was the best look? Anna Kendrick. She, I was talking last time about how she wasn't really trying too hard, and she had this suit going on, and it was great. And she's petite like I am, so I always kind of have a thing for um, what petite women wear. And so she was wearing uh, a suit by Band of Outsiders. And it was just black, simple, and then just a plunging neckline, and I think it just worked for her and her personality because she's really cheeky, so I like it that. It was a great fit, wasn't it? Yeah. And I yeah. thought the shoes were beautiful. Yes, Jimmy Choo, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so often when you have a sea of gowns and you're wearing sort of a men's look, yeah. a tux kind of Very look, Andrew it Nunes. really stands out, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. um, there are others who have done this. Um, Emma Stone did it re more recently yeah. at the, was it the Golden Globe? She yeah. had more of a pants look, and everybody's mm -hmm. talking about, oh, the one in the pants. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So I think she really, really pulled it off. It was, it was the best one, I yeah. thought. Yeah. I agree. All right, so where are we with you all? Best look, Henry. I will say Neo. Neo, what? Okay, to me it was classic Neo, though. Yes, but I felt like he chose something that really, um, Represented his personality. It sure did. His Henry, I don't think we have the yes. picture, so describe for anyone who missed it what Neo was wearing. He um, was wearing a moss olive colored um, tuxedo two button um, from Marc Jacobs. Yeah, was that a velvet collar? Oh, there we go. He yes. Something was going on with the collar. Yes. Okay. All right, that was a nice little touch. Mm -hmm. And I felt like the ta it was sleek, you know, the tailoring was really nice, even the break and his pant leg was really nice mm. and clean and I noticed from other um, celebrities as far as men um, wasn't so tailored, it was kind of boxy and then even some of the pant length was just a little too long so I really felt like Neo really pulled it off and he was very confident and comfortable which was an added asset to his appearance. Mm -hmm. Speaking of men's suits, what did you think of Pharrell with the shorts? Because his suits were like the regular jacket with shorts, Bermuda shorts. I actually like that. And it was fitting for if him. If it was fitting for him, it's for real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And not to mention, he is my zodiac sign. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to like whatever he is. <laughs> you know, I, I would have been disappointed had he come with the big hat like yes. he wore a year yes, ago. He, he's always changing it up and evolving. And this was more of a she, little she's over the hat. bellhop yeah. kind of hat. I don't know what you would call and it. And then this also introduced his... Um, line that he's working with um, Adidas. Yeah. Adidas. Mm. So I thought that was very appropriate and good marketing for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what about his performance outfit? I, the I performance with outfit, if I make no mistake, that was um, something he wore in a Chanel commercial. Mm. 
And actually, um, the jacket that he wore was um, actually inspired Chanel to do the double-breasted tweed um, bellboard or bellsman um, mm -hmm. type jacket. Well, that, that so um, I felt like for his performance, of course, we've all heard happy, so he had to do something to make it new and exciting. Freshen it up and a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, Carrie, what about your best look? It was so hard to choose, but um, I loved, loved Taylor Swift's outfit. Um, she wore Ely Saab in this nice core, uh, this nice green dress, and I love the high-low hem because, you know, Taylor Swift has amazing legs. She sure does. So I thought this was a great chance for her to show off her best asset. I think women, if you haven't, find your best asset and then highlight it, of course, tastefully. Um, and she did that here. And I love that she played with color because a lot of people on the red carpet wore black or we saw, you know, sequins or some type of embellishment. So she kind of added some color to the red carpet. And I love the mix with the fuchsia shoes. You know, I, I'm a fan of color, even though I'm wearing black today. Um, I am a fan of color and I love mixing color. So I love that she had that combination. I agree with you. Yeah, I think yeah, it was my, my, my pick, too. Yeah, yeah. my favorite oh, as sure. well. And, and, and the bottom didn't overwhelm no. her, which mm. happens often, depending on the yeah. height of the person. And she's wearing. tall, so she can wear a dress like that's that. That's exactly and she can right. really own yeah. it. And mm -hmm. I love because last year she wore, you know, some sequins, and it was it kind of washed her out a little bit. The dress was gorgeous last year, but it washed her out a little bit, so I'm, I love that she wore color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, anybody else that uh, stood out besides uh, Taylor? I love Gwen Stefani in her um, in the jumpsuit. I love that she didn't do a dress because, of course, as we spoke earlier, you know, everyone always has a gown, and the bodice of her jumpsuit was fantastic. I it, thought it was it great. It sort of looked like a asymmetrical ruffle spider web yes. or something because it had window panes through it. Yes. Yes. And it's Gwen Stefani, and she has a little edge when it comes to her style anyway, so no it would fit her perfectly. Mm -hmm. And I don't, to me, she can never do wrong when it comes to style. <laughs> so I love it. She usually nails it. Well, we thank you all very much for coming in, and uh, we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back after this. Thank you.